In today's show, you're going to learn about the Power Apps Barcode Scanner Control. So we're going to take a look at it, how to use it, how to use the on-scan property, and then talk about a couple of different things, talk about some of the codes, some of the things you can and can't do with it, and just make sure you guys are really comfortable with the ability to add barcode scanning to your apps. Because for a lot of my customers, this has been a big game changer where they want to collect information with a scan instead of someone have to type it in. But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys. In today's show, we're going to dive into the Power Apps Barcode Scanner. So this control, right, we used to have a version of it called the Web Scanner that was meh. And then we got the experimental version, which was so great I made a bunch of videos around. And then they took the experimental and it became a full-fledged control. But in the process, they changed a few of the things about how it worked. So I thought this video was important to help out both people that are brand new looking for this for the first time, but also people that have used one of the previous controls so you kind of have some context, you know, some of the nooks and crannies to kind of look out for. So when it comes to the barcode scanner, though, what you're going to see is that it's really pretty simple and straightforward in that it works from your mobile app, right? So from your iOS or Android app, and it uses the built-in native capabilities that those platforms provide. So that way the product team didn't have to redevelop a bunch of functionality and, you know, get in this case where they were trying to do something that someone else was doing better. So they're just going to let us invoke that and then grab the data and then do our Power Apps magic with it. So it's pretty cool. And I figured what we do here is instead of starting out with, you know, building from a blank screen, first let's go demo a couple of things you can do with it. Make sure you're excited about it like I am. And then I'll show you how to build kind of what we're going to do here. So let's switch over to my phone real quick. Okay, so over here on my phone, let's just give this a whirl. So let's click on the single scan button. And so when I click that, you can see it invoked the scanner. And it scanned the thing, barcode test works, no problem. So that's one. Another thing that people often ask for is they want to be able to scan and go, like uh, QR codes and things like that. So I'm going to say scan and go. And so then right here, I'll hit that QR code, and then it navigates us over to Power Apps 911. Look at that beautiful website. You should check it out. Cool, cool. Um, we'll go back over here. And then the, the last one we like to look at here is scan to collection. And so this is typically what we see more often, right? So here you can see I'm gonna scan my barcode. So there's ABC, we'll say scan again. And then now we'll do one, two, three, scan again. One, two, three again, right? Scan again. And so you, with the scanner, you do have to be a little careful, right? It has a hair trigger. There is no scan like capture. So you invoke the scanner, which shells out to the app's built-in scanner or the phone's built-in scanner. And then basically as soon as it can find a barcode, it grabs it. One more real quick, we'll just do single scan for this one. So we hit single scan up here. You can also see I can turn on the flashlight. You know, so a lot of my customers, they wanna scan stuff in the dark. <laughs> so there's the flashlight. And one more single scan. And just in case you've got, you know, things on your forehead, you can always turn it around to the uh, the selfie scanner. And it turns out that scanning me does not work. But uh, just thought it was a little fun. So flip that back. And then now we can just cancel out of here. So, perfect, cool. All right, well, let's switch over and let's go build this app. Okay, so now we're back to where we're comfortable. Good old Power App Studio. I've just created a blank mobile app. And remember, the barcode scanner only works with the mobile devices or, you know, the iOS type of, or Android devices like that. More, what I'm trying to really say in a terrible way is it doesn't work in the website, right? So if you wanted to have like someone using their laptop and their laptop camera to scan things, that is not gonna work. You have to be, in one of the mobile players. All right, so let's jump in here and build this out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to insert and I'm gonna say media and then barcode scanner. So remember, a long time ago, this was a bad control. It didn't do what we wanted to. Now it does exactly what we want. So when you insert it, you'll know you're getting the right one because we got a button. And so with the button, it just says scan. And believe it or not, that's, that's like half the battle right here. When you scan with this button, you'll see that there is flashlight enabled. So do you want to just go ahead and turn on the flash, the flash by default? But then down here, instead of an on select property, it has an on scan. And so here you can set a formula. So for example, what I was doing previously was I was saying set var, you know, single scan like this. And then what I would do is I would set the variable to barcode scanner one dot value. That's how I got the data out of there. So I just, 
Every time you press the scan button, it would just reset that variable to be barcode scanner one dot value and boom. So you could do it like something like that. So on scan, that's a new concept. Another thing you could do is just grab a label. And so you could have just said, all right, well, label one, just show me barcode scanner one dot value, right? It's just, it's in no different than any other control. It's once you scan, you grab something, whatever gets returned, that shows up. Which reminds me, you know, one of the things that will come up that there's not a good way for me to demo here, but if you want to um, have something happen if they cancel out of the scan, right? If they hit cancel, remember what will happen is this barcode scanner one dot value will come back as a blank. And so then that way you would know that they canceled. So that comes up in uh, some of the automated type of solutions where people kind of want to have the scanner roll through stuff. And then when they hit cancel, which means I didn't scan anything, they need to have a different behavior. So just keep that in the back of your mind is that you would just test for barcode scanner one dot value is blank. And then that's how you would um, account for that. Okay. So the single scan button that we talked about earlier, or that I showed you just a second ago, that was literally all that it took to do. So single scan. The second one we looked at was a scan and go. So for that one, I did this very similar. I went to media and barcode scanner. And so I changed this one to scan and go. And then what I did was I set the code here. So I said on scan, I want you to launch, right? The launch function is how we open a website. So we launched and then we launched barcode scanner dot two because it's barcode scanner two now dot value. That's it. That simple function is how I was able to make it. So when we clicked on that QR code, we went to that amazing website called powerapps911.com. Pretty straightforward. Okay, chugging right along. The third one was we scanned into a collection. So here we said, all right, media barcode scanner, pull this thing down here. And let's see, scan and collect. And so in one of my customers, we do this type of stuff because they want to basically inventory all of the pieces that they're getting. And then once they get all those, then they're going to write that out. So scan and collect, what I did was I said on scan, we did a um, collect. And then we said collect, you know, uh, multi-scan. And then what they wanted here was they actually wanted to do a couple things. So one was um, barcode info. So we had a column for that. So we said barcode info equals barcode scanner three dot selected val or dot value, not selected dot value like that. And then we also uh, went ahead and captured who scanned. And so for that one, we just took advantage of the user function. We said it's user dot full name. And then when scanned, we did today, or no, we didn't do today, we did now. We just said now like that, boom. And so that formula, right, what does it do? It creates this collection called collect multi-scan. It puts whatever they scan into the field barcode info, it puts who scanned, right, without asking the user, it's just grabbing the user property and writing that, and then when scanned is the date and time now. Now, a user.fullName like that, retrieving it, you know, if you're going to do a whole bunch of scanning, that's slightly inefficient, so you might store that in a variable ahead of time, but for here, we're going with simplicity stake, so it just works. And so then they would just have a gallery, and so my gallery... We pulled that down here and we said, oh, there's collect multi-scan. We'll change the layout to be title and subtitle. And so there's the barcode info and then there's who scanned it. I guess we could even add a third column if we wanted, but you get the idea of that's how we take the data and do, uh, do things with it. And I guess the other one was with some uh, people asked me, well, you know, in the first video, right? They said, how do I take this and save it to SharePoint? or to SQL or to CDS or wherever it is they want to save it. That was a fair question, um, right? And so really I think as long as you know how to get this value out of here, right? So whether it's putting in the variable or just referencing barcode scanner one value, you've got all the pieces, but since enough people asked, let's just jump over here real quick. Oh, not over there. Not right there, that's the app we just demoed. So let's add a button for putting scanning and going to SharePoint. 
So over here, we will go to uh, insert or no, view data sources. We'll add a data source and we'll add our SharePoint list. So we'll go to SharePoint. And actually, I don't have a SharePoint list at the moment. So hold on one second. I'll hit pause and make it. And then we'll come right back. Thankfully, I'm super fast at making SharePoint lists. So I just made a list. I have one column called barcode scan. That was the title. I just renamed it. I have a who, that's a single line of text. We're going to store that username. And then when, which is a uh, date and time, I do believe. Let's just double check that. So we'll say list settings. I might have went too fast. Oh, when is not a date and time. So we'll say when. And we'll just change it to date and time. And then we'll set the format to be date and time. There we go. Okay, so now we're set. It says, hey, it might change, lose some data. I don't have any data, so you can't lose any data. Ha ha. All right, back to our app. So over here, I'm going to choose that same SharePoint site, Power Apps Videos. And so then there is my list called Scans. We'll say Connect. And so, perfect. So then now we'll say Insert a Media Barcode Scanner. Drag it down here, right? Because it's going to be Scan to SharePoint. And just like that. And so then what this one's going to be is on scan. What are we going to do? We're going to patch. Oh, patch is like that though. Pan, patch scans. We're going to set the title column to be barcode scanner four dot value. Just like that. We're going to set the who to be the user dot full name. And then finally, we're going to set the when to be now, like so. We'll close our curlies and like that. All right, I feel pretty good like that all should work. So now, unfortunately, right, one of the downsides here is to test this. I can't just hit the preview button up here in the top right like I normally would. So what we're going to do is I'm going to file. We're going to save this scanner video new is what I named it. Very creative name. I know we're going to hit save. All right. So it's been saved. So then let's switch over to my uh, phone and let's see if it works or not. So we'll say, okay, so there's our new app scanner video new. So let's give this thing a whirl. So we'll click on the button. Oh, we'll allow it access to our camera. That seems reasonable. And so let's try scan and go. Hey, that launches Power Apps 911 again. All right, we're good there. Let's see what a single scan does. You know what? I don't think in our app we made it show up anything, but I think it's there. Well, if scan and collect works, I think we'll feel good. So we'll say scan and collect. Hey, there's me, scan and collect again. Awesome. And then finally, let's scan one of these off to SharePoint. So scan to SharePoint, and we'll send off one, two, three, four, five, six to SharePoint. All right, so you can see the dots going, so something happened. Now, one thing you'll note in this video that you might have seen in the previous one was I did an auto scanner. The auto scanner is not possible in this version. Uh, it's one of those nuances, things that doesn't work today, but it'll work soon enough. So when the auto scanner capability is available, which is where we were able to like spin through and just keep it scanning over and over and over again, as soon as that's available, I'll update the description down below and I'll make a video on just how to do that one feature. So it is a big, a big need, but it just, it's not possible with this current version of the scanner. So let's switch back over to my desktop and make sure our item showed up in SharePoint. Okay. So back over here on the desktop, let's go to back to my SharePoint site. Let's go to scans. Cross my fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shane Young, just now. Woo, 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 woo. There you go. So we're able to scan from our app and push that all the way back to SharePoint with our code. And if you remember over here, right, the whole reason I wasn't seeing, we, we didn't add a label to show the single scan results. So that's why that nothing happened with that one. But hopefully this gets you all the pieces of the scanner functionality that you're looking for, gets you moving in the right direction. Uh, one other thing you might note, so if you go over here to File, and app settings and then advanced. So way down here at the bottom, there is a web barcode scanner. You don't need this. This is a way to bring back the old base scanner where you could actually use it from a website. So unless you're trying to have a, like people scan with their laptops, which seems really awkward. 
Um, but this is kind of here for legacy reasons, so don't turn this one on unless you have a very specific need uh, about that. Also, when it comes to scanning these things, um, if we go right here and we do the Power Apps barcode scanner, like so, right? And so then over here, you can get the, uh, the, the references around the control. And so this covers some of the different codes that it works. And last time, because what I found out when I did the first video was there's just a whole bunch of these uh, scan barcode types. And so I just went and tried a bunch, right? So I didn't even follow the documentation, which probably would have made more sense, but I just went and tried a bunch to see if my mine worked or not. And, and thankfully for my customer, their type of barcodes were there. So pretty good list of support. So I think it's all today. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Uh, like I said, I'll update with the, the next video as soon as that comes out. Also, if you love this type of content, remember I offer a, a full Power Apps training course. It's all online. It's Power Apps and Flow. It's taught through Power Apps 911. And if you mention this video, you get 10% off. So not a bad way to go. But other than that, it's Sunday afternoon. I need to go eat some food and go pick up my kid from soccer. So thanks and have a great day. Hey, it's me again. If you got a second, click the subscribe button. That always keeps me making more videos. Or if you want to work together, need some help getting your Power Apps going, hit me up at Power Apps 911. Always happy to work together. Or finally, if you're really just looking for more videos, that's probably what it is, check out the Power Apps playlist over here and you know enjoy that. All right, thanks and have a great day.